shreds in there as well. I got this at Trader Joe's, but a lot of supermarkets carry it. So Allie, I want you to reach your hand in and grab some delicious broccoli slaw, put it in the middle of your plate, spread it out a little more, take a little more broccoli slaw, and the broccoli slaw is going to be the grass that our ladybug sits on. Good job. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our ladybug. And what I'm using to do that is an apple. Do you like apples? Yes. They're delicious, aren't they? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is use the apple also to work on some math vocabulary, to work on the difference between half versus whole or part versus whole, half of an apple, a whole apple. Also concepts like divide. We divided the apple in half, Allie. Correct? And we're going to put it straight down, right on top of our grass. Another word is equal. When we slice it or divide it in half, it becomes two equal parts. So this is a good way to introduce some tricky math vocabulary. Equal, divide, whole, part, half. All right. The next thing we're going to do, Allie, is add some feet and a head and a tail to our okay. ladybug. And I'm going to use some toothpicks. Parents at home, please do this part for your kids because the toothpicks are very sharp. And I'm going to take my toothpicks and stick them into the sides for the legs and the other side for the little, well, little feet, I should say. And then we're going to give our ladybug his head up here and tail in the back. And this is also a good way to work on some spatial concepts. For, or prepositions for in front and back and back and next to. So Allie, I'd like you to put a head on your ladybug. Take a whole grape and put the head in front of the shell. Good job. And now you can take some more whole grapes and put them on the sides for the feet. And we can say that the grapes are where? Are they in front of the shell or next to the shell? Next to the shell. Very good. Right here and next to it on the other side. You're doing a great job. And one more leg or one more little foot. And this ladybug is starting to shape up in no time. And finally we're going to give our ladybug a little tail. We're not going to use a whole grape. We're using how much? Half. Half. Very good. We divided it in half. Can you think of some other fruit or vegetables that we could divide in half? Oranges, um, strawberries. Good. You can divide those equally in half, right? You could also work on some other 
math concepts, more fractions with your kids by taking a pizza or a cake and dividing it into fourths or eighths. And with your older kids, that's a great way to use food to demonstrate fractions on a little bit of a higher level. But the next thing we're going to add to our ladybug, what does our ladybug need next? Um, her eyes. Her eyes and what else? Some dots, some yeah. spots, right? And to do that, I am using something that is so delicious. These are dried blueberries, yes. You can also use some dried cranberries or raisins, but I love these, number one, they're so good for you. It's so many great antioxidants, and they're little, and they're dark, and they look just like the little dots on a ladybug. So Allie can take her little dried blueberry, dip it into the peanut butter, and place it on top to make dots on her ladybug shell. So I'm gonna let Allie work on that. Good. That's okay, you can keep going. And while she's working on that, I just wanna show you all that I didn't leave the grown-ups out because you can take all of these ingredients and combine them and make a little salad out of it for yourself. It has the grapes, the blueberries, the broccoli slaw, and even some um, sesame seed or some sunflower seeds sprinkled in. You can check this out on my website at www.speechsnacks.com. And Allie, you are doing a phenomenal job. I like how you're putting all of those little dots onto your ladybug. And you can give your ladybug two eyes as well. Good job. A little messy, but fun. You can also check my website out for a little game I created working on the ola sound. I've made little cards up that you can play with your kids and also work on some facts about ladybugs. Do you want to hear a ladybug fact? Yeah. Did you know that ladybugs smell with their feet? No. Can you believe that? They use their little feet to smell. What a neat fact to teach your kids. So I hope you enjoy making this cool ladybug and get your picky eaters and your good eaters alike to enjoy a fun little recipe that they created themselves. Thanks, and I'll see you again. Eat well and speak well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ladybugs at the ladybug picnic. We one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.